guys, what's up? It's Corbin Stuckey with Pixel Talk here, and I'm here to give you my review on the Uncharted 4 A Thief's End gameplay that was released at the PlayStation Experience uh, event today. Um, so yeah, I was watching the... I, I haven't even really watched the live stream yet. Um, I had so much to do here at the house. I had to go get a haircut. Yeah, it's really short, I know. And uh, I came back, and uh, I already knew about the gameplay. I just wanted to wait until like it was posted on a website or on YouTube, um, so I didn't have to like you know wait for the live stream to like buffer it up because sometimes like you know there's problems with that. So I watched it on YouTube instead, and it looks amazing. And if you guys don't know, just getting it on record already, Uncharted is one of my favorite video game series of all time. I absolutely love Uncharted. I love all the mechanics involved with Uncharted, the parkour, the shooting, the puzzles, everything about Uncharted I, I absolutely love. Um, I remember when I played Uncharted for the first time in 2000, yeah, it was, it was Christmas of 2009. My first Uncharted game was Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and I loved that game so much, and ever since then, I have been playing all the Uncharted games, I've played them all, and being as I am a fan of all the Uncharted games, I absolutely love this gameplay that was showed at the PlayStation Experience today. We have an older Nathan Drake. Uh, you can just tell by looking at the crow's feet he has and, you know, the wrinkles on his face. He's gotten a lot older. Not a lot older. Like, I would say he's maybe in, like, his, uh, I don't know, mid-30s, maybe even 40s. But um, it, it, it amazes me how much he hasn't even changed yet. We still have the one-liners and everything. And um, he's still, you know, a treasure hunter. He still has parkour abilities. That's really awesome. And uh, just looking at this game, uh, you can tell that um, they're, they're taking all the elements uh, from the previous games, putting it back in there. They're also adding new mechanics to the games, like um, so similar in the Tomb Raider game that came out in 2013, uh, where you use like a, a sharp dagger to like, you know, um, stab the rock and, you know, climb and everything. Uh, they're adding that into this Uncharted game. And also, you have the ability to freaking rope swing into a guy. And that's freaking awesome. The combat from Uncharted 3 is there too, with a little bit more of uh, cinematics there, which I find awesome. And yeah, I'm just so glad they're bringing back the mechanics from the previous Uncharted games and bringing them back in a more advanced way. And they're also bringing in new mechanics, you know, like, you know, the thing from Tomb Raider and the rope swing. I'm really excited. And knowing that it's going to be on PS4 with those graphics, it's going to be so freaking good. I, when playing the Uncharted games in the past, I was always amazed at what I was watching. I, I always felt like, because that's what Uncharted is, it feels like you're watching a movie. And I, I can't even imagine what it's going to look like on PS4. With games that we have today, you know, like Killzone Shadowfall and Infamous Second Son, they look really good. Um, Killzone Shadowfall, however, I, I didn't really like that game. The only reason I really played it was because the graphics were amazing. It was alright. I mean, it was just a basic shooter, but can you imagine the story arc that, you know, Naughty Dog has done over the years and the graphics of the PS4 combined in this one game? It's going to be so sick, and I am absolutely excited for Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. The only complaint, this isn't really a complaint that I have, um, for some reason, I was just always getting this dark vibe from the trailer for some reason. Um, even though, like, you know, Nathan Drake has, like, his one-liners, for some reason, um, it, it seems a lot darker in this game. I don't know if it was, you know, um, the color or the music being played in the background. Uh, even though, you know, we had the one-liners from Nathan Drake, it just seemed, like, really dark. I'm not entirely sure why. Something has obviously probably happened in the beginning of the game to like set this tone. I, I don't know what it is, but um, if you watched my reaction video uh, from June or I think it was June or July of the first announcement of Uncharted, you'll see that sort of tone again. I don't know if it was because it was night in the beginning, but it, it's just such a dark tone, especially like also because like, you know there's like dead skeletons everywhere. Maybe that has something to do with that, I don't know. And the last thing I want to bring up is there is a guy um, at the end of the trail that like Drake meets back up with, and uh, apparently this is his brother. And I was totally caught off guard because I wasn't aware that Nathan Drake had any brothers whatsoever. Um, and this is spoiler alert, so if you haven't played any of the Uncharted games, uh, I would go play those and come back to this video. Nathan Drake is like an orphan. Um, his parents died when he was very young. 
Um, as far as I know, it's been a while since I played the games, but, but yeah, apparently this guy's his brother, and that's really weird, because, you know, he's an orphan. I guess they could have both been orphans, but, um, there's much more to Nathan Drake's character than we know. Um, there's a, a huge kind of, like, twist at Uncharted 3, um, that makes you kind of question who he actually is as a person. Um, but I don't want to really ruin it for you guys. I would just go play Uncharted 3 to know what I'm talking about. If you're a huge fan of Uncharted, um, you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my review of the Uncharted 4 A Thief's End gameplay. Uh, comment down below what you think of it. You like the video, share it, please subscribe to Pixel Talk, and yeah. Again, thank you guys so much. I'm Corbin Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.